GTA Online is coming up to being 10 years old and in that time there has been a lot of changes making it somewhat overwhelming when you are first starting out that's why in this video we are going to be going through the most efficient way in which you can start as a new player within 2023. Now with this guide, we are mainly going to be focusing on the next gen release. And the reason I need to highlight this is because there are some slight differences. Back when GTA Online was first released, the intro that you would have was with Lamar. It would give you a tutorial of the world of Los Santos and even take you into a race where you can get your very first weapon and have an introduction to the game. But with the next gen version, the latest release, which most people will be going for, it is different in a good way. This is because when you first start up, you'll have the option for a criminal career. This will reward you instantly with $4 million. Reason for this, Rockstar knows that this game is somewhat overwhelming right at the beginning with all the updates that they've pushed over the years. And this is a better way in which they can guide new players into the game. And they give the new 4 million so that you can start off with a business, which doesn't happen on any previous version of the game. So getting into your criminal career, you are given four different options. This is executive, gun runner, nightclub owner, and biker. I highly recommend selecting a nightclub. Out of all of these, the nightclub Club will be the one that will be paying the most money once it is all set up. So with this, you should be selecting the Mission Row nightclub. This costs $1.44 million. With the style, select the Omega interior, but we will be coming back to this in a minute. This costs 563000 and is the cheapest. With the vehicles, there's quite a few options, but I highly recommend that you go for the Karuma Armored. This costs just under $700,000, and it is the only armored vehicle car there, which is certainly going to help you in quite a few tricky situations. With weapons, you should be going for the Special Carbine, which costs just under 15000 and the Machine Pistol, which costs 6250 Whilst you're here, you might as well claim any of the free weapons that are also available because well they're free now with all of this rockstar forces you to spend anywhere between 3 million to 4 million but you should not be spending all 4 million you want to get as close to 3 million as possible and with our current selection it's gonna be round 2.7 million this is where you're going to go back through and select a few other options with whatever you fancy what i did was go back to my interior style for my nightclub and improve that slightly just so that we can get over 3 million. You will then get a summary and this is complete. You will accept and then go into your character customization. This is entirely up to you, so you can just select whatever. And once you complete this, now you are finally getting into GTA Online, but it will put you in a solo session where you'll need to go through a tutorial. You'll pick up your car, pick up your weapons, kill the NPCs around, leave the area, and then you'll get a message from Tony. If you selected a different career, you'll get a message from someone completely different. But with the nightclub, you'll get a message from Tony, and he'll ask you to visit the nightclub so that you can go over things. This is where it goes into the nightclub business. You'll get a long cinematic and you'll need to go through the whole introduction. As this is still the tutorial, you'll need to create an organization by naming it. And then this will give you access to the laptop within the office. Now you can go through the startup missions, which will require you to do stuff and equipment. Both are easy, but both could be problematic if the game puts you in a public lobby. If you do get put into a public lobby, it's best just to find an invite only session. You can still complete everything and you can still get money from it, except now you don't have the pain of dealing with other players. With staff and equipment being done, you'll then have to go and collect Solomon from the airport, but there'll be a slight detour. But once he is finally taken back to your nightclub, you are finally done. And as long as you maintain the popularity of your nightclub, you'll be getting $50,000 per day. If it starts to go down, you can either do a promotional mission, do one of the dynamic events, which always seem to pop up every single time that you enter into your nightclub, or you can go and change the music artist. If you change the DJ, it'll cost $100,000 first time, but once the mission is done, if you ever want to go and change in the future, it only costs $10,000, which is certainly worth the price just to go and boost your popularity and get an extra 50 k every hour. For now, you can leave your nightclub within the background. Keep on visiting back whenever there is 50 k deposited so that you can claim that. But now we need to go into other things. The first thing worth doing is heading over to the Diamond Casino and Resort and claiming a membership. 
With this, you can profit instantly. The membership costs $500 and you can instantly just walk over to the counter and claim a thousand chips being worth a thousand dollars. So you instantly double your money. But not just that, you also get daily spins of the lucky wheel, which will reward you in RP, money, clothes, or even the special vehicle for the week. 9 out of 10 times, you're probably going to get RP or clothes, but it's still worth doing. And for only $500, right at the beginning, you want to be putting money into things that are going to give you a much bigger return. Whilst we're at the Diamond Casino and Resorts, you might as well exit and then just go around the corner to the music locker. Once in the music locker, you'll need to go downstairs and a cinematic will begin. This will last a couple minutes, but once it is finished, you can exit and you'll unlock more content. But before we get into that new content, you need to do a bit of grinding. Now, the good thing is that when we went through our criminal career right at the beginning, hopefully you only spent around 3 million. So you have another million left in the bank. Well, now you need to do a bit of grinding to double that. You need to get to 2.2 million to unlock the Kasaka sub. The Kasaka sub will give you access to the Kai Perico Heights, which will reward you at least a million dollars if done correctly. It can be done as a solo player. And the only thing that you need to do to unlock it is just go through the music locker cinematic, which we just went through. So your overall goal at this point is to build up to $2.2 million, because that is when you can really get into the best money making method. But as you are still starting completely fresh, you're limited on some of the activities that you can do because they require you to have more money in order for you to enter. Now you do have your nightclub in the background, which is given 50,000 a day, but of course that's going to take some time. My recommendation right now is to go through the drug wars update. This is the latest update. And even though it doesn't pay the most, it is the newest content. You'll get a phone call from Ron and then you can head over to Blaine County where you'll go through the introduction to all of this content and it'll be under the first dose missions. Here you'll meet the character Dax for the very first time and he'll have several missions lined out for you. With each mission, you'll be rewarded 20k to 50k, and once you complete all six, you'll be rewarded an additional 250k. Plus, on top of that, you'll unlock the Brigade 6x6, which does save you $1.4 million. Once you complete all six and you've unlocked the Brigade 6x6, you will meet a character called Mutt who will ask you to spend 750k in order for you to change this vehicle, the Brigade, into the Acid Lab. Don't do that just yet. I said we're still trying to build up as much money as possible to get to $2.2 million. Once you complete this content, you're still not going to be there. You may be a couple hundred K short, in which I recommend just going through the activities which are rewarding double or triple money for that week, or you could just go through the collectibles. With this, I can't go through it in this video because I don't know what is double or triple money at the time in which you're watching. And with the collectibles, there are way too many out there in order for me to go through every every single one and highlight each location. But if you just go into Google, type in GTA Online collectibles, you'll get a list and likely you'll also find maps associated with them. For every collectible that you pick up, it's actually fairly rewarding. Plus you'll probably rank up quite a bit. But once you have 2.2 million, this is where you can go to your war stock and buy into the Kasaka submarine. It'll cost $2.2 million and it's not really worth going and get any of the upgrades, but if you do have spare money, it's worth getting the Sparrow. It'll make life a hell of a lot easier. You can request it and it will be used to complete all your missions and you can go through this incredibly quick going from point A to point B. Once you visit your sub, you'll get the first time cinematic and then you'll go through the whole tutorial in order to scope out the island. I highly recommend whilst this is your first time going through it and yes it is going to take some time but when you are scoping out the island you will go through the tutorial and at the end Pavel will ask you if you want to stay on the island to find more intel. When that happens make sure that you do it. Yet again, there are maps available which will show you all the locations for the primary and secondary targets available on the Kai Perico Island. Make sure that you take pictures of everything because once it's done, it's done. You never need to do it again. 
Now, if you do just want to skip through all of this and do it as quickly as possible, you really just need to take pictures of the drainage tunnel and the main dock. And with the main dock, you're going to do this as one of the main objectives anyway. For an in-depth guide on the Kai Perico Heist, we have already got a video here on this channel. So if you do want to see that, there will be a link in the description down below. But as for setup missions, you do not need to do every single one of them. You only need to do the Kasaka Sub, Safe Code, Fingerprint Cloner, Cut and Torch, and the weapons don't matter, but just make sure that you have suppressors on. To go through this in the most efficient way possible, you need your approach vehicle to be set as your Kasaka, infiltration point will be drainage tunnel, compound entry point will be drainage tunnel, escape point, it doesn't matter but just select main dock, time of day also doesn't matter. When you start the heist, you will arrive within your Kasaka but it can't get close enough in which you'll need to swim, cut through the drainage tunnel and swim up. From there, if you just hug that right hand side, killing all enemies that are in your way. With the most recent Drug Wars update, there's been a slight change to the Kai Perico heist. It used to be that if you killed an enemy and a guard walked past them later, as in walk past the dead body, they would not interact with it. They won't even acknowledge it. But now, and it does make sense, if that happens, they will sound the alarm. This does mean that you need to track the paths of each enemy. But yet again, there is a very easy way to do this, and we have already done a video on the channel. As said, link can be found in the description down below. Your main goal is to make your way up to El Rubio's office where there is a secret safe and it can give you anywhere between 50 to 100k. Hopefully at this point you've also taken down a guard which has gifted you keys. You can then head down to the tunnel where you'll be able to open it now that you have the keys and you'll need to do the hack which is extremely easy. You just need to match the fingerprint. There'll be one more gate which you need to break through. This one is even easier because you don't need to hack, you just need to interact with it and your character will burn through the lock. Now you just need to put the safe code in the safe and you've got exactly what you came for. Now if you thought entering the compound was easy, just wait until you get to the exit because it's even easier. It'll tell you to go to the main gate where you will exit and because we selected this option earlier as our escape point, it's going to tell you to go to the main dock. But you don't need to. If you just run either side of the compound going right or left and just swim out of the ocean in the complete opposite direction, you'll get to a certain point which is the edge of the map. And once you're there, well, the heist just ends. It also means that you're going to avoid any detection because you've got your scuba gear and you're swimming. You're going as far out as possible quite some distance underwater. No one's going to be able to spot you and if they do, they're not going to be able to shoot you. For completing, you'll get on average a million dollars, which does mean that you need to complete this just two times in order for you to make back your initial investment on the Kasaka sub. With the money that you do get because you're getting around a million dollars, this is where it's worth going back to the Drug Wars content where you'll have your warehouse and you'll upgrade your brigade 6x6 to the Acid Lab. Yet again, this costs $750,000. Now you'll have another business which is going to be a fully functioning meth lab. You'll need to do resupply missions for that, but it's just going to be a business that's working in the background, very similar to your nightclub, which is also working in the background. When the time comes, you'll need to do a delivery where you'll sell the acid and you'll be able to make around two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars depending whether or not you get the upgrades. From this point, you've got different ways in which you can make money. My recommendation, and you can't go through this straight away because Rockstar changed this with the Enterprise update within 2022. You used to be able to go through the Kai Perico heist and once you completed it, you used to be able to go back over to your sub and immediately enter back into it where you would scope the island. Unfortunately, you can't do that. It now takes four in-game days, which is about three to four hours until you can go back for it again. But what you have right now is the foundation to continuously bring in money so that you can buy into more activities within GTA Online. Keep on going through the Kyo Perico heist whenever it is available because you'll get at least $1 million, even more if you can be bothered to go for the secondary targets. You have a business running with the Acid Lab. You'll either need to buy supplies or do source supply missions in order to keep this going. But other than that, it's running in the background, very similar to your nightclub which is giving you $50,000 per day. With the money, there is room to upgrade both of these businesses, which is the recommendation. Once you keep that going, eventually you'll be able to buy into the other opportunities which are available. But from this point, it's really down to you. You've really kickstarted your journey 
in GT Online. If you do have any questions about anything, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Now, we have also mentioned it quite a few times within this video, and it plays an integral part for your journey right at the beginning. This is the Kyo Perico Heights. And if you want to see a full in depth video which goes through the best way in which you can go through this, in order for you to complete this in just under one hour of you doing the whole setup, going through every mission and also completing the heist finale, then I highly recommend clicking the video which is now on screen. That video will go through everything that you need to know and even highlights the most efficient route that you can take within the compound in order for you to successfully complete it stealthily. So click that video and I'll be over there to guide you through the whole Kyo Perico heist.